spicy bread noodles that people have been eating, you know, that are very atomic, you know, in, in flavor. Mm-hmm. And she's like, wait a minute, wait a minute. And then she's like trying to, she's like, grab me now. <laughs> are you recording? Oh, yeah. Okay. We are in line for a very special sandwich. Oh, yeah. A very special sandwich. Very special sandwich. People have been, people have lost their lives over this fucking sandwich. I guess, you know what? But we can't have nice things. We can't have things, you know, things like Flappy Bird and shit like that. Mm-hmm. And like, people get I killed. wish I had bought that so I could have sold a fucking phone. Yeah. <laughs> Vincent had it for a very long time. I think, I think he still he, has it. I think you told me. Oh man. I think he still has it. Oh man, we but, gotta we gotta get that. Because he's Vincent, he's man. the he's the meme lord. He can't he can't let that go. Well, I don't speak to him anymore, so there's no well, way. Well, you don't have to speak to him. <laughs> no problem. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't condone anything what you're saying if you're out there listening, people. Um, but um, yeah, it's like people are killing, like getting killed over this sandwich and. I, I've had the sandwich several times now. I mean, I've, I've had it once. Oh, really? Yeah. Have you had just the regular sandwich? I had the spicy sandwich. You said of course spicy. I had the spicy sandwich. Are you trying to You're me? telling me I'm not going to have the, oh, the spicy sandwich? You know sandwich? what? You know, I, I, I feel bad to even think that you would not. Because if I know you, you going to try everything. <laughs> <laughs> you go give your opinion on some damn food. I know you about yeah, that. And it better be spicy. <laughs> it better be spicy. <laughs> But what sandwich are we talking about, though? Like we've just been hyping it up. I don't think we should say it at the moment. Okay. I think I think they already know. But you know, you got you got to do the little. Uh, back up! Oh, oh. Whoa, 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 whoa! There's a new car. Chicken. Oh, what the fuck? She tried to. She tried to take you out. Yeah, she wait for me to back up first. Oh man. Well, she's still going. She's still going. Oh man, Jesus. Man, we almost lost our lives over this goddamn sandwich. <laughs> no, we did. This is exactly what we're talking about. Yes, it is. You know, I, I. Is it even worth it now? Absolutely. I don't know. I'm, I'm doubting. No, we just had a final destination moment. Like we, we, we deserve it. Okay, here we go. All right, all right. What does Mardi Gras cheesecake look like? There's two bros waiting to place their order. Yeah. Two bros waiting to place their order. Having yeah. a good time, yeah, yeah. Having a good time, having a good time. Alright, that's as far as we can go, I really think. Yeah. It's cool that the sandwiches are the same price at Chick fil A. Mm-hmm. They're fucking different. Yeah. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a combo and then, a, and then I'm just going to get a. Hey, you want to play? Uh, can we do two separate orders? Is that okay? okay? Yeah. Well, for the first order, I would like one uh, spicy chicken sandwich. Okay. And uh, one uh, classic chicken sandwich. And then... Um, Both of these are the same. First order, right? Yes, please. Okay. Uh, and then on that same order, uh, six biscuits, please. And, yes, and that's all for that uh, first order. Damn, you trying to... You trying to... Thank try. you. Uh-huh. All right, and for the second order, may I have a... Um, Number eight combo. The side of you, right? Uh, may I have a um, the side being the um fries and a drink um. Sp- Wait, fries. <gasps> oh no! They're so good. I understand. Uh, I could. Do, uh, do you have onion rings? Yeah. I'll do that. Okay. And and for the drink, I'll do Dr Pepper. And can I add a uh, spicy chicken sandwich to that? Just a, just a sandwich. Okay. Anything else? Um, can I have one? Uh, can I add a one uh, black black and ranch? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh huh. How did mine cost less, less than yours? Yeah. With a combo, man. I should have gotten the combo. Yeah, you should have. 
See, that teaches you a lesson. Yeah, because you could have got one of those biscuits that's one of your size. Yeah, but now I have six biscuits. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying you could. <laughs> yeah, I would like some fries too. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like she's looking at me through, the, through her rear view mirror. Yeah, she looks like she's plotting your death. Yeah. She's like, I see you, I see you both. I see that you're making a podcast about me, you so snide, flippant little fuckers. You uh, backwards niggers. That's what she's. Why do people refer to you as that? As a backwards nigger? I don't know. See, now you're starting. They just look at me. Yeah, and they, and they just think nigger, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad that you're able to admit your trauma. <laughs> your oppression. Your oppression. Yeah, I, I do feel so oppressed sometimes. What privilege? What privilege? Talk about white privilege. What privilege? Yeah. <laughs> That's a T-shirt right there. A bumper sticker. <laughs> oh my god, I'm going to I'm going to the worst of hell for the for black people that do that. This is called cooning. <laughs> I do not do that. No, this is just for fun. I'm no one's Uncle Tom. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, I um I was talking to a couple of uh, black folks. Oh? Yeah. Like, at work. Oh yeah? Yeah. And um there's a white guy named Tom though. Oh, and god. he's a very um Hard working, too hard working. Is and he he's very strict? Is he got an unclean nature? Yeah. <laughs> and so, like, when they were talking about him, and then I re- called him Uncle Tom oh my in front God, of them. No! <laughs> and I was talking about a white man, though. In my defense. Jesus Christ! Another black man right there. Oh, no. <laughs> what? I just thought it'd be funny. <laughs> oh my god I, you know what I appreciate that I appreciate that that was that was nice I mean he's like the definition like his name is Tom oh my god I even walked into does he have an ugly nature <laughs> he's pretty old damn you know what? I think of a person named Uncle Tom. I don't even think of black people. I think of Tom Poston, the guy that was in New Heart. That he, I think he was like a mailman or something like that. He was always like a lovable. He was sort of like a Jimmy Stewart figure. Mm-hmm. Like he was like dopey but very lovable. Um, that's the type of person I think of. It's like weird. I refer to. I guess it's bad that I say this, but you know, as black as I am, I was raised by a bunch of white men on television. I've already said it, Bob Ross, Mr. Rogers. Well, there are just so many white men on television. You couldn't, yeah. probably couldn't avoid them. And apparently the one that I had to look up to was a rapist. Just give it a bump. That white man. <laughs> Rolling. The oh, old. You'll see. You'll see. Oh, wow. I was actually watching the Cosby Show the other day. And you know what? I've actually learned to watch it without actually thinking about, oh, this man is rape. I actually am able to do that. But the guest stars on the show are so fucking good. Like there was there was a whole episode where um, Denise was working for Stevie Wonder. Wow. Yeah. Was he Stevie Wonder in the episode? Yeah. Okay. He say he sang. There's an episode where Sammy Davis Jr. was on there. That's cool. And he tap danced. Oh, he's a great tap dancer. Yeah. Like, there was so many... Sammy Davis Jr. Uh, wore blackface as a kid uh, growing up performing. How do you wear blackface as a black person? I mean... But making a face chocolate? Shoe polish. You know? Damn. Damn. You know... I, I did this thing where uh, my ex friend Sharif, I said, you know how you can tell if most white people think racist thoughts. He says, how I said, ask them what their favorite Dave Chappelle sketch is. 
And it's like nine times out of ten they're gonna say Clayton Biz Clayton Bigsby sketch. Because white people love watching black people make fun of themselves like that. Because then it feels as though they are get allowed to laugh along with it. And he, he honestly did not think about it at first. And then he actually did it. He actually asked two people that we worked with. Like, what did they like they, uh, the Chappelle show? And they said, yeah. He's like, what's your favorite episode? And they both said it. And all I did was. He's like, oh man, mm-hmm. I can't believe this shit. This is some bullshit. He would always say, "Nigga, fuck up." I just can't believe this. Can't. It's all in my head. I don't want to know. If you're playing me, keep it on the low. These are my confessions. Just want to. Wait, what part? Like a- You know which part? The will, uh, will out part. These are my confessions. Just when I thought I said all I could say. I came, came up, up with more secrets to tell you today. These are my confessions. Slipped my mind the last two times. Silly me. I guess I gotta give you part three of my confessions. <laughs> it's rap. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's the best version of it. Not Ursher. Trapped in the drive through. You know what? Let's put James Corden out of fucking business. You know, I am trying to understand why the world keeps James Corden employed. I don't see the appeal. I like him when he's British. Yeah. And, and, and if he's an act- actor, like... I'd rather him pick one. Don't do both. Mm-hmm. Don't do both, because you, you ain't got... I'm, mm, he, I, mm, he ain't got it for me. He no. doesn't... He does not have the umami flavor of acting for me. Steven has the umami flavor of acting. I will definitely see. Like, that's why I watch Peabody and Mr. Sh- and, uh, P- Mr. Peabody and Sherman because he was the, I think he was the villain in that movie. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's Ty Burrell as um, the dog. Oh, yeah, I think I. And, yeah. Me. And yeah, and so like he sold it for me because he was in Rick and Morty. As a, yes, uh, yeah. Have you seen uh, season four? Yeah, I saw the first episode. I saw the first episode too. What did you think of it? I'm glad it's back. I, I'm glad it's back, but it's like <sighs> I don't know where it's. Going. Why are we doing all this? Like, yes, Rick can clone himself and he can regenerate all these fucking things. What is this going to serve a pur- purpose at all? Why are they back together? I think it's supposed to set up like Evil Morty and stuff. When did they get back together? When? Who? Um, Jerry and Beth. Beth. I thought they were back together in like the last uh, season. They were like, yeah, Dad, this is happening. Like, we can't really see ourselves with anybody else because we know each other so well. I need to rewatch that. Season three is not my favorite season. Season two is. I love season two. Well, and they're also writing uh, season five right now, so they don't fall behind. Well, shit! If they got down, they got to do ten more seasons or whatever. What is it? Ninety something more years of Rick and Morty. <laughs> well, that's not for real, but uh, <laughs> it's like Justin Rowley is gonna die in the recording booth. Is what you're saying? While he's in their show. Listeners, 
me and Joseph won't be able to celebrate Christmas this year, so you won't be able to get a contractually obligated Christmas episode this yeah. year, unfortunately. I know, I know, I, I know, know, I know, I know, I know. I, I wanted to do it. I, I know. I, I, yeah, absolutely. And you wanted to do I, it. I did. I, I absolutely. I know. Yeah. I know. And calm down. Calm down. Stop. Ah. Stop. Ah. Stop. Why are we not at Denny's? So, I get it. Everybody, we wanted this, but we we, we didn't. We we couldn't do it. Yeah. So it wasn't in God's plan. It wasn't God's plan. God's plan. We should get Drake. Ask him about this. Like, yeah. get him started on this. Maybe he can lead a campaign as to what, how we can get a Kickstarter. Make sure we get a contractually obligated Christmas episode by this year. Yeah, featuring Drake. Featuring Drake. Um. Yeah, when this year is over, I mean, they still got to do it. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. You know how you release like episodes. Yep. I'm okay, how are you? I love her. I do think we should feed more kids Popeyes. <laughs> I do. Thank you. eat a lot of spinach, so yeah. it's probably good for them. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. Oh no! Because the kids will be eating him. Oh yeah. I think that's why I might go as Halloween next year. I want to be Popeye the Sailor Man. Okay. You know what? who gave me that idea? Okay, so my okay, so ladies and gentlemen, this is the podcast. I oh, have oh, we're doing a podcast right I now. I have a boyfriend. Oh yeah. All right, I have boyfriend. You too. You thank too. you. Mm-hmm. I have a boyfriend. Boyfriend. A boyfriend. Absolutely. I won't. I won't display his name because you know who. Who knows how long this will last. So. Mm-hmm. Um, I think he's Episcopalian. Right? No. No. Yeah. No. no. Okay. He does come from a religious background, though. That's 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 bothersome. But it's, it's not. It's not a deal breaker, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, he's actually from. He's from Florida. Oh. I'm gonna go up here. But yeah, he's very cool. He's been, uh, he's he's gotten me hooked on this show, Brooklyn Nine Nine. It's very very funny, and I think you would enjoy it. No, I've I've seen some Brooklyn Nine Nine. I don't I don't enjoy it. No, why? I, I think they're I think the jokes are lame. I don't know. I just, no. I think it's just kind of dumb. No. It's such a good mood when I watch it. It's so it won an Emmy like its first season. Is this a regular sandwich? Yeah, I don't think it should have won in its first season. Or any. Well, yeah, this is, is it? well, I do yeah, like. Says man, I, I do like Andre Brower. I think that he is great. I do like Terry Crews. I love Terry Crews. Yeah, mine is a regular. No, this is spicy, but it's huge. Wow. I'll, I'll do the spicy first. Never mind. I gotta work my way up to it. Mmm, very good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Damn, what's up? There's some, uh, I don't have a spare tire back there, so. Some good, like. Fire chain and stuff is just. Oh. I need to buy one though. Because I had a flat tire out in LA. Because I went to LA, you know, back in October. I do remember this. 
We did a podcast out there. Yeah, we did. A two-hour podcast while you were at work. Uh Uh-huh. That was interesting. Yeah. I don't think anybody's ever done that before. Not before us. Do you need any janitor supplies? You're gonna be in that. I do not. Has your boyfriend not had the sandwich? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's um he's a big boy. Oh, I did not. 
So you gotta keep going straight. Yes. Uh, like you've been mm -hmm. the entire time. All 25 years. Can you believe it? We're, 20, we're 25. Oh man. It sucks. Yeah. But, uh, in Knives Out, there is a, Tony Collette plays as a Gwyneth Paltrow type character. Instead of Goop, her company is called Flam. Oh, yeah. It's so good. It's such a good ass movie. I'm gonna guess that was the murderer. Flam. The Flam? Yep. Fantasy Flam. <laughs> Guess all you want. You gotta see it. It's so fucking good. Speaking of seeing movies, I bought a lot of movies to see. Oh, did you? Yeah, I've spent hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Tell me, because I'm buying all these movies. I've done, I've done similar. Tell me about your excursion. Well, most recently. Uh huh. Oh man, I spent over two hundred bucks. Oh. Like two hundred forty bucks. Ooh. On uh, but let me tell you about all the. All the stuff I got, man. Like, it's a good deal, like, individually, but once you add it up, you know. Adding it up. Yeah. I got... They never gave me Black and Ranch. I just said it Damn. Well, episode's canceled. Yep. Go on. But there was... I got, uh... Ten seasons of South Park for mm -hmm. about, um... Uh, say, like, fifty... Three, fifty-four dollars, which is pretty, uh, cheap. Considering individual seasons, I got three Studio Ghibli Gibbles, Gerbil films. Um, you said it right, first. Ghibli? No. Ghibli? <laughs> Not for $9.99. They're all used, of course. You know, you don't buy new. That's a scam. People, let me tell you. Yeah. Yeah. You let them know. And then uh, I got three of those. I got, uh, what was it? Three or four Criterion Collection films for sixteen ninety nine. Mm -hmm. The four K and Blu Ray uh, Toy Story uh, for thirteen ninety nine. Oh my God! Uh, uh, I got a uh, David Lynch and a uh, Angelo Badal Menti uh, Thought Gang uh, record for eighteen ninety nine. Includes download card. Heard them now. Oh yeah. And then uh, what, let me see what else. What else did I get? Uh, King of the Hill. Uh, I think that was about like five ninety nine for the fifth season. So I'm, uh, I'm amassing my King of the Hill collection, uh, getting halfway there almost. Yeah. Um, let me see, let me see. Uh, there was something else that I got. Oh, In Living Color, season three. In Living Color. Uh, I still need season two, though. Yeah? And probably season four. You said those are uh, expensive. Yeah, they're usually expensive at the places that I, I've seen them. Well, even though it's a great show, and uh, but I don't think the, the people who own them deserve all that money from no, me. No, they don't. They, they, it's not, it's not like, you think that the way nice do you think Wayne's getting all that shit? No. Keenan Ivory Wayne's isn't getting my money for that. Um, let yeah, me tell I'd you something. To him. Let me tell you something. I have, and I'm sure you know who this is. I have the sweetest baby in the fucking world. Because my baby came up to my, my mm came up to my front porch give me a box and inside this box has all the oldest red and records he did what now my baby did this my baby you my ba you this is you the baby you was the baby mm -hmm. you is the baby mm -hmm. you is the baby what you talking about <laughs> you lie <laughs> <laughs>
No water. You a dangerous man. I bet you'll be one. They're crying wolf right now. Are they? Mm -hmm. All right. If I don't need no water. Oh shit. <laughs> Trying to get in the game, bro. Yeah, gotta get get, get get your head in the game. Oh wow, I'm being. Mmm. Is that a gun on the back? Did this fall out? What the fuck? Uh, uh. No, it's not a gun. Oh. Um, it's inside. I've started this thing at work now. Oh, uh, it's these um, these pair that I work with. They've watched Hot Ones, the Idris Elba episode, where oh, cool. he's he's where he like stops and he's like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> so they they've been saying that a lot. So I just I've been mocking them. So every time I hear them say, "What the fuck?" It sounds like they're saying it in an Indian accent. It sounded like they were saying, what the fuck? And I was like, so I think mocking them saying, what the fuck? And so they think that, like, I have been doing, like, a retarded version of it. <laughs> <laughs> when it's like, I've been mocking you this entire time. And now because they know that, they just now say it. They've taken my thing against them. Oh, no. See, you're just too subversive. No, I like it now. So now we can just say it all free. It's our code. Oh, okay. Guy code? Yeah. Welcome back to Guy code. Oh, it's right here. Sorry. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry. It's so small. It's so small. It's so small. You can turn that point. You can turn it away? The point. Oh. It's where... I see. You no. Know. It's with an E. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. I'm, yeah, I was I'm a little gone right now, so yeah. You turn here. Turn here. Oh, is that a cop? Oh. There's so many goddamn cops everywhere. Because we, I live next to two schools. Should I turn around? Yeah, you can turn this way. Can you? I think to. I believe so. <laughs> That was that was a beautiful voice that you just did there. <laughs> Never heard your voice go that way. I've uh, been watching the Pink Panther movies uh, recently. Oh, Clouseau. Yes. This is Jack Clouseau and the Fan Inspector. You like Kato? Yeah, I like Kato. Uh, the collection I got, it's weird. It doesn't have like the first uh, '70s uh, Pink Panther that uh, he did, which is uh, what? Yeah, I don't know. The one that I have a love hate with is. I'm sorry. Yep, I see. It. I the, see it. the one I have love hate with is the search for the Pink Panther mm -hmm. with Joanna Lumley. Because I like her, because she's an ab absolutely fabulous. But it's also like. He's not in it. Mm -hmm. and it's like, I don't want yeah, it's not much without him. She's also the first female doctor. Oh, okay. It's not canon, but you know. It was like a stage show that she and um, Rowan Atkinson, the guy that plays Mr. Bean. Oh, yeah, yeah. That they did. Johnny English. Mm -hmm. Johnny English. Shitty <sighs> Bean. You sleepy? Oh, I said shitty Bean. Oh. Can you sleep here?
Sometime. Yeah. Life partners. Yeah. Heterosexual life partners. Yeah. I now pronounce you. Whoa, that'd be weird. We'd have to keep. You'd have to keep your last name. I have to keep mine. Yeah. Cause I that that'd be too. Uh, I wouldn't uh, want your last name. Two Joseph Crowleys. Two Joseph Guarlos. Oh man. First of all, there's enough Joseph Crowleys. Yeah, there Alexandra, aren't too many Joseph uh, out there. Uh, Alexandra uh, Casio. Cortez, she beat Joe Curley. Oh yeah, she did. Yeah. yeah. That's my future wife. <laughs> your future wife? I thought I was your future wife. Well, you're a man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your future husband. <laughs> I need a woman too in this relationship. If it's gonna work. You know what? We should, like. You think that'll eventually happen? Where that'll be passed as a law to where people can have multiple, like everybody can have multiple um, spouses. Um, I don't know from what my, I know my aunt was talking about it one, one time and she was talking about how they were going to figure out like the taxes and then like benefits and like write-offs and stuff if you have like multiple like dependents and stuff. Like it would be too weird. Uh, I don't know about in our lifetime. <laughs> I could see it being possible. But I, don't, I really don't give a shit. I know, but it's just something I raised. Yeah. I, th- I think it's possible, but with all these uh, poly relationships, all these goddamn uh, selfish people. Yeah. I, yeah. I I'm it. still single. And you'll find her. I hope so. Go and find her. I'm searching every which way. Gonna find it. I'm gonna play this. Mainly because this is one of my favorite songs. Not just sitting on Dr. Bay, but pain in my heart. Just can't let it be. Damn it, now you've made it to where I, ne- I absolutely have to get a crate. You're welcome. Oh, don't forget, I got you maybe an original um, Dr. Oh, yeah. Bay record. Yeah. So Not just a mono box set. Why don't you keep that? That's part of something. I got it for you. If I want, I can go and buy uh, another box. <sighs> oh, I'm so sorry. This I is a spicy... Chicken sandwich. It is spicy. You... You make it... You make it so easy to love you. <laughs> I'm liking the 
be it too. It's getting thicker. How 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 thick you gonna let it be this time? You going back to terrorist? Oh uh, maybe. I just like uh, trimming it down because it, it helps it thicken up more. Yeah. She's so clean. Okay, so that is normal. I saw what looked like writing on my record. Mm -hmm. but, but I need to show you the, my other record because it looks so scary. There's what looks like a remnant of sticker that is like lodged out on it. And it's so scary because like... Luckily, I got the, the record from cheap, but it, it's it's just, ugh. It, it like lopsided plays. Mm. And it, I'll, I'll, I'll show you after I like, experiment this. Pause that for a second, because I don't want you to... I don't want you to... Okay, we're back. Yeah, we are. I just learned about your creative process, and so I love it. I love it, but for you uh, listeners that that don't know, I uh, I basically likened White Joseph to the old man from Jurassic Park because you know you 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 you're prepared to take people on a journey. Yeah, whether, you know, whether they want to go or not. Whether they want to go or not, even if you lose them, mm -hmm. you <laughs> you're willing. Yeah, I'll still go on the journey. With yeah, them, but you just see it to the end. Yeah, and if they want to come, like. Like they see the end, and then the, yeah. then hopefully they're like, Whoa. "You gotta make sure this shit is yeah. is is completed." Mm -hmm. That's what you're gonna do. You don't listen to nobody. It's out there. You don't listen to nobody. <laughs> you are <hard> him. <laughs> yeah, my uncle asked me why I couldn't do like more mainstream. Like, uh, oh my god. Songs. Why? Why does he fucking care? Like, I mean, like, like let you let you have your art. I don't know. They just think, I think they just think it's a reflection what of does, them. What does Don think of this, Donald? Oh, yeah, I should play all of my stuff for Donald. Just, you, like, just hang out with him yeah, the whole day. Yeah, absolutely. You know, so we funny. should have Don on the podcast. <laughs> you know, just, just have him take over. Say, <laughs> I like, just give him a fucking bike and let him go. <laughs> because it's like, I, I would forget <laughs> about him until I would listen <laughs> to the contractually... I'll be in a Christmas episode. It's, uh, I'll be like, oh my god, that motherfucker who who said that he was looking at 16-year-olds in bikinis and shit <laughs> like that, and his wife kept saying, your story always changes. How old were you? <laughs> How old were these girls, Don? How old were these girls? <laughs> you, know, you know who I fell in love with? I fell in love with the mom. Oh, yeah. Because she kept... <laughs> my uncle called me recently because um, like he was trying to figure out Thanksgiving plans. Mm -hmm. And he was talking about how he didn't think uh, if I wanted to come up there. First, I couldn't have the cat with me. And then he was saying that I shouldn't dress like I was homeless. Because uh, her mom's going to be up there. Or his mom. And, you know, whatever. This is how they want you to go. Like, they, this is how it's like, oh, come come see us, right? Mm. That's, how, that's, how they, that's, how they, that's how they bait you in, right? By saying... Don't you dress like no fucking bomb. Yeah. You better be stoned. Are you stoned? You're always fucking stoned. That's what the problem is. You're always fucking stoned. You're stoned all the damn time. God damn it. I don't think I'm stoned enough, god damn it. <laughs> I will say this. I don't know what it is. I hope it's not like people really feel intimidated by me, but... Either he was just being very, very nice, or every time that he said something... And I retaliated against it. He just like withdrew it. Cause like when he was like, like you're you don't know, like you always say you're working, but you, you're probably, I was like, well, you know, I don't get to see Joseph because he is always working. And yeah, he's like, don't and I was like, I don't, I don't even like. I and then he's just like, and then he like completely conceded and said, I guess you're right and everything. I'm like, what the hell? What was that energy? <laughs> <laughs> the only time I really, you know, I felt so. He probably fucking, didn't change his mind, but since no, you talked back at him, yeah, you know, yeah, like okay, <laughs> you don't want me to talk. All right, I guess I won't talk then. <laughs> I can't fucking berate him. <laughs> <laughs> and the only time I felt so fucking bad is when I broke that chair. We didn't get the we didn't get to record that for the contract for the obligated episode because oh, no. it, it had happened afterwards. That's right. Um, oh, here. 
And uh, I felt so fucking bad that I broke that chair. And it was not... And I... I blame myself so much for it. I was like, you know what? It's just this ass. And but it's also like, I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> or at least I didn't feel like I did anything wrong. I had a friend um, back in high school, one of my Chinese buddies. Mm-hmm. And he was riding my bike. And um, like he got on it. I don't know how it happened. But like I had been riding it, you know, like a couple of years before. And then once he gets on it, like part of the metal that holds the chain just falls off. Like, it just, like, splits, like, clean off, like, after he rode it for a little bit, and then I didn't have my bike anymore. What the fuck? Uh, I don't think, I don't know if it was something he did. I might have, like, crashed it a couple times, but, like, it was just (laughs) so memorable. Wow. (laughs) Like, you could not fix that. There was not a way to get it back on. There's this one time I um uh I had gotten my bike stolen <clears throat> and I went looking for it. Now the thing is, the neighborhood that I lived in at the time, there was like it was like bad bad neighborhood. Bad mm-hmm. not good. Like everybody was either on drugs or they were selling drugs or they were something associated with drugs or I remember there was this one woman who sold her kids for like some money. Jeez. Now the thing is, this area, it was near, it was like right right near where my elementary school was. Mm-hmm. It's Fairground Road. And uh, I lived right across from my elementary school. So, so when someone stole my bike, I knew where it would be. I knew that it was going to be in that neighborhood. And so I asked everybody, and you know what everybody's doing? Instead of like, I'm getting like pieces of information from every fucking body. Mm-hmm. Everybody's like, "Well, I saw this person have it. I saw this person have it." Then you're, it's like people. You're investigating. Then people are like following me to the like, like, like standing next to me, like going with me, like going to find this person, get my bike. It was. I went to go find my bike probably around like eleven o'clock in the morning. I, this was on the weekend, and I probably got my bike back around six p.m. And it got stolen again. Oh, wow. So, like, my mother, she was very, like, upset that I did that because she was scared that something could have happened to me. She said, you could have gotten your ass beat. Someone could have shot you. She said, was like, someone steals my fucking bike. You don't think that I'm going to, like, go after my bike? Like, like, this was before I was fat. Like, I was always on my bike. I would have my... I would have my CD player, which I would duct tape down so that way I could put it in my pocket. Because mm-hmm. I had these long ass headphones, I had this long ass wire. And I would get on my bike and, like, I mean, push, like, random on, push random on the CD player and let it go. Like, what the fuck? That was, that was my me time. I rode the bike, I would ride the bike all the way from them. Um, Hashtag me time. That's the word. Mm-hmm. No more me too. How about me time? <laughs> you all just need a little me time. I would need a me time. A me too. <laughs> but, um, yeah. And I would ride that all the way from the elementary school to the primary school all the way back. I could go to a damn store in that if I wanted to. And I was, this, I was like 11, 12. I was 11. Yeah. Stole my fucking bike. No respect. I get no respect. No respect for you, no respect for themselves. No. Not they not their families, not their cows. Oh, here's something we should talk about. Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry. You know, Tyler Perry is making money moves. He's taking a page out of Cardi B's book. Naming his uh, sound stages after black... Black pop, pop royalty, basically. <coughs> I 
Ozzy, Ozzy Davis, Ruby D. Yep, just making more garbage for people to watch. Hey, you are not going to knock his hustle. We are going to pr- be proud of him and give him his flowers. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad uh, one of our own, you know, is succeeding in the world, you know, and making an example, but... You know, what, he, oh, what he's creating is, uh, I think, more detrimental than uh, what it's worth. Yes, I, I have my hand up. Um, no, 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 the person behind you. Oh, wait, never mind. They left. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I'll go ahead and just... Uh, one of our own? Mm-hmm. Oh, who, oh, who's our? I, I thought you remember uh, uh, people... You know, calling me a certain word. Uh, yeah, I yeah. would, I would call that. So but I, I uh, like we're the, mm, our people. Mm, you know. uh, oh, let's talk about what we what we discovered on Disney Channel. Oh yeah, that's a raven. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uncensored. Uh huh. Calling him a rude ass nigga. That's right. Twice. Twice Disney let let it. Ooh, I'm wondering if it's on Disney Plus. We gotta find out. Mm-hmm. Gotta find you know, out. he was. I'm doing shitty driving. Yeah. But, but I, he's the one driving, so like this, they can't complain. Th- this is the question, though. He said, why do you predict this shit if you can see the future? Mm. I'm asking the same questions. How she ain't predicted? Yeah. Yep, that's me. And you want to know why he questions her? Because she's a woman. Because he's a stubborn... Yes, nigga. <laughs> it is. She aborted his baby. She did. She did. I wonder what Chelsea has to say about this. Oh, we got Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> we are too foxy, mamas. You don't want to mess with. Yeah, get down. Get down. They used to have this um. This band or boy group called Boys in Motion that had the weirdest songs. <laughs> that sounds weird. Boys, boys in Motion. <laughs> boys, we are the boys in motion. We give you our devotion. Boys, we are the boys in motion. We give you our devotion. Boys, we are the boys in motion. We give you our devotion. Boys, we are the boys in motion. We give you our devotion. Boys. <laughs> that was. That was their main hit. <laughs> they also had a fire and safety one. What? Yeah. Because it was like supposed to teach you, like kids, it was like a PSA for kids. Um, she had said that she could get Boys in Motion to be in the music video for this like fire safety video. And so she lied, obviously. Then she saw in a vision that they were actually going to show up. So she kept on going with the lie. And so eventually they did show up. But it took, it was, no, the reason why she thought she saw them, it was because she was disguised. She and her friends were disguised as mm-hmm. the guy. So that's what she saw in her vision. Yeah, her visions weren't usually yeah, like exactly yeah. what she was so, thinking they were going to be. But they eventually did show up. And then at the end that's of. That's so Raven. Yeah. <laughs> and then at the end of the video, they give you the fire safety video. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, and it's like, it's basically like all. We are the boys in motion. It's, Fire safety is our devotion. It's actually way better than oh, the yeah. original one. Um, <clears throat> it has in it, and it's so it's so badly dated because I'm a big fan of Scandal. So there's this guy. He's he was the only black guy at, at the beginning, and he was played by this gentleman named Columbus Short, who is famous for. Um, Stomp the yard. Stop the yard. Mm-hmm. That movie is also famous for Chris Brown getting sh- killed in the first five minutes. Of it. So well, uh, <coughs> so uh, <laughs> I was always the more you got served man myself. Oh no, you wasn't. That's so nasty, okay? Oh, Mario. Um, but uh, <laughs> but yes, um. What was I talking about? You might have done this. What was I talking about? Uh, boys in Motion, Fire Safety. Oh, yeah, yeah. So Columbus Short, he was the black guy. Mm-hmm. Then they had this Hawaiian-Asian guy who is 
He was a Power Ranger at one point. Anybody knows who this guy is. They've seen him in a bit part somewhere. If you've had, if you need a Hawaiian or if you need an Asian guy, he was your go-to. And then the blonde guy, the blonde white guy. I think right. His name's Ryan Hansen. He's in all those. <laughs> yeah. He, yeah. Party down. Party down. Veronica Mars. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was. That's where he got a star. Burning love. Yeah. That's apparently where he got a star because he wasn't doing shit before that. Party Down had a vulture reunion as well, in addition to the community. So you can watch it on YouTube. It's so Megan Mullally was there for both? Megan Mullally and Jane Lynch. And Ken Marino and Martin Starr and Lizzie Kaplan and Adam Scott. Martin Starr was on Party, Party Down? Party Down. You said Parks and Rec. No, I said Party Down. Wait. Ryan Hansen wasn't on Parks and Rec. No, I know that. Yeah. But you said that. I said Party Down. You said that and party in the community. Community. I'm sorry. I apologize. I thought you said parts and right. Sorry. That's what I was thinking of Megan Mullally too much. Sorry. Community did work under their Parks and Rec uh, set for their sixth season. Really? Yeah. That makes sense because it it did look very different compared to, and I also. That's why in their first uh, episode they had that frisbee thing. Let me ask you this. I think I asked you this before. Padgett Brewster, did you care for her character? I thought she uh, worked well. I didn't. Um, I didn't really love her like a lot, I, but I think that if she was there from the beginning, I would have. If we did not have Brit- Britta, is the worst fucking character. <laughs> I hate her. As Britta, much as, to, Britta as, is the worst. I, as much yeah. as I hate Job, I hate <laughs> Britta. <laughs> Basically, I don't, I don't find shit like that funny. Is the problem? Someone who is meant to fuck up and be a fuck up all the damn time. I don't find that funny because I'm, I'm, I'm a believer when it comes to television shows that have plot to mm-hmm. progress. And if you got the same old person that is not willing to progress, she like, progresses a little bit. Like in, in the sixth season, she t- deals with her parents and stuff. She. You know, it goes back to Subway. Uh, maybe I just didn't give a shit about Britta at that point. She just needs to be stable. Like, that's I the guess, only thing. I guess so. But you see what I'm saying with Job. Job will never change. Mm-hmm. He will always be jealous of Michael. He will always do this. That's the reason why. He'll always love Tony Wonder. Same. Same. I'm here. I'm queer. Now I'm in a chair. <laughs> Um, but it's like, I hate shit like that. That's why I, everybody else on Arrested Development, I love. They fit perfectly to me. In my opinion, they fit perfectly to me. And you just have this cartoon of a fucking man. Who is meant to be the cartoon. that one guy. Why, Why could that one guy be Tobias? Like, leave it at that. I know, they all have their quirks. That's what's so good about it. And That's you what's so great the, about it. I don't care for Job line, you know, if you uh, didn't have Job in there. That's the only one. I don't really care for Job. I don't know who that is, and I don't care to find out. <laughs> it's the case, Michael. They've ruined everything. They're so flamboyant and dramatic, I could just set myself on fire. I'd rather be dead in California than alive in Arizona. That's right. She's doing this all under the guise of caring about our family. Well, if she thinks that I don't care about this family just as much as she does, then she's a two-hearted bitch! <laughs> like, go on, Liza Minnelli. They got Liza Minnelli to feel that damn show. She... Liza... Well, she babysat Ron Howard when he was a kid, so I mean, like, of course, he called an old favor from his good old Liza. Oh, Liza! It's all about who you know. Liza, we just pulled a string. One of my favorite Kristen Wiig sketches is her as Liza Melly trying to turn off a light. I don't care how you feel about Kristen Wiig, that is one of my favorite scenes. I think uh, I know this about you. Mm-hmm. You don't care for most of the women on SNL. You're a misogynist. I don't care for Kristen Wiig. You don't care for Kate McKinnon. You don't care for oh. Leslie Jones. You mean the worst women? Mm-hmm. Or the oh, oh, oh! I the like worst women! Cecily, uh... Abby Elliott! 
Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, the C for John. John. Yeah. Oh, you uh, know. Casey Wilson. Oh, I love Casey Wilson. Jane Curtin, Lorraine Newman, Gilda Radner. Uh, Tina Fey! Dan Hooks, yeah, Tina Fey, Amy Poehler. Now, let me ask you about Miles Rudolph, baby. Oh, yeah. Of <laughs> She's the queen. She is the queen, honey. Molly Shannon. I'm 50! Rachel Drant. And a guest item? I don't know who she is. Martha Stewart. Okay. Sweaty I mean, Balls. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's great. The one with the. Mm hmm. Yeah. And the nose. <laughs> Looks like a bird. If you were to put me at a faraway glance, her and Catherine Hahn, I probably couldn't tell the fire. Mm-hmm. Everybody thinks that Anna Geisteyer is on the mass Singer right now. Julia Louis-Dreyfus? Mmm. I forgot that she was in SNL. They must have mishandled her very poorly. Mm-hmm. They did. No. I don't think Lauren understands that he doesn't get it 100% correct all the time. Well, Lauren wasn't there when she was there. Oh, really? No, that was uh, after uh, 1980. Like, he didn't come back until, like, 85. That's when they had Robert Downey Jr. and Michael Anthony Hall. Oh, yeah. You know what I've noticed, though? When they tell you the secrets about SNL, it's like, no wonder it's not as good. Because they're like no ad living and shit like that. Like that's as long as you ain't making the FCC sweat, you ain't got you ain't got to worry about nothing. You know, sometimes y'all need some ad lib for them dry ass scripts. Like shout out to Dan Colin Joseph and Michael Che, but y'all be writing some dry ass scripts. Mm-hmm. Shit. I'm wondering if they're the head writers. Why can't the show be better all around? Also, you know what I'm getting tired of? Us relying on Pete Davidson for his mental health shit. He is not the spokesperson for mental health. He didn't get the shit. He didn't get the fuck up off that. Trying to charge people a million dollar, like, uh, NDA before they go to his shows. They can't talk about his show. Like, what the fuck? Then you just don't want nobody to go into your shit. Cause I'd be damned if I can't talk about where I went. We got all these all these famous ladies. Ariana Grande, Kate Beckinsale, they all knobbing on this dick. Which I hear is very big, by the way. Yeah, I've heard that too. And it's got to be true because he doesn't say it. Mm-hmm. Oh, he did make a funny joke about um, how his mom should date, and uh, he might have to fuck her if she doesn't find a man soon. Oh my god. <laughs> What's the character that he plays, Chad? Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, cool. Alright. Yeah. Uh huh? Oh, go away, Chad. Okay. Wait, okay. Chad. No. Come back. No. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. It sounds like he's on the fucking phone. Like it's like what 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 are you doing? What? Uh. Oh, so gassy. Now that chicken has entered me. It's like, I was going to make enchiladas, but it's like, I don't think I'm going to be too full to. Yeah, I think I need to take a rest. Yeah. This is where I wish, um, I was going to say his name. I wish he were here right now. He rubs my belly sometimes. I love his belly, too. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Oh, let me show you what he did. <clears throat> I don't think we can, uh, show it on the podcast. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, 
he um I I was like for Halloween you should go as a copper from uh from Stranger Things. Oh yeah. He found a shirt. Oh yeah. I I was like He's a big boy. He is a big boy, isn't he? Yeah. He's so thick. <laughs> he got some... Oh, my God. The legs. That ass. I need a girl under 200 pounds. I think I'd be good with that. He's... Okay. I just... He's... He's... The, something thick to cuddle with. Like, you know. He mm. keeps me warm, man. Because I sleep with a fan on... Like, even, even though... The, Weather's dropping. Mm -hmm. I sleep with that fan on. Got to sometimes. Got to. Got to. Sometimes get too hot. Mm -hmm. Too hot. Too hot. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Like, sometimes he's big spoon and it's like, oh. I was like, it's like weird because it's like, now I think because of therapy, I'm actually able to be a, a, a little bit vulnerable in a relationship to allow it to happen without putting up a front. Well, that's a, I think, part of a good relationship then. Yeah. It keeps me sane. Whenever I come back uh, from work, uh, he tells me, what the motherfucker say today? Because <laughs> he does not like anybody I work with. Well, not at the other place, but not at the newer place, but at the place where, mm -hmm. yeah. The Southwestern uh, yeah. cuisine place? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that yeah. place. Which hopefully was edited, the, the title was edited out in the last one. I don't know, it was, that was full on mm. episode, you know. We even heard from some of your co-workers, didn't we? Mm. But I don't think they count as guests. Like, Cameron was the only guest to me. Like, I thought, again, I thought it was very enjoyable. You didn't edit it out. I knew it. I was like, I did, said Did you listen to all two hours of the podcast? I did not! See? But our, our listeners are listening right now, and they listen to all two hours. You know, I the reason why I did not listen to it is because I honestly cannot get through the sound of me on the phone. It does not sound right. It, I can't get it. It's so distracting. I can't, like, focus on it. And that's I, just I thought it. it sounded pretty good for and being on the phone. That's just me. I, that's just my ears. That's it. And, uh, you know. Well, the I listeners was, know I, what's up. I listened to a good bit of it. I, I you said uh, Chris, he was, uh, your boyfriend was laughing at the podcast, yeah? No? Or I somebody, don't think, it was Somebody a, you showed? Yeah, it was, yeah, it was the Christmas one. Yeah. Cause uh, I tried to I tried to record him, mm -hmm. and he he saw me on the side of his eyes. He says, "What are you doing?" He's like, "Do it like that." I was like, "Do it like that." <sighs> yeah, he is big boy, isn't he? <laughs> I'm, you know what? After after I've gotten tired of like. Like, I don't even chase the, like, the muscly ones, but mm -hmm. it's like, I settle for them anyway. Uh, after I've, like, been, like, <sighs> it's like, once I accept it like that, I'm like. Is that why I see so many attractive women with uh, these big husky guys? There's a lot to love. I guess so. Yeah. Too much for me. No. I don't have that much love. Nah. I got a certain special amount. Yep. And then once I get rid of my love, I get tired. <laughs> and I have to take a few minute break and then I can give out my love again. Mm. Yeah. That, 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 that makes sense for you. <laughs> my, um, it's like the my uh, my friends that work at the pharmacy over here. They all they they're obsessed with my family <laughs> because they like my mom. They think my stepdad is funny, and like 
I had just told them about the guy I'm seeing. Mainly because I don't tell people that I don't really hang out with. Like, that, you know. But yeah. And so, uh, you know, like, you've been dating this entire time, and you didn't. I was like, well, yeah. I was like, he lives in your neck a little bit, too, really. Lives in Atlanta. That's far away. Yeah, that's why he comes here. That's why I, I didn't want both of you here at the same time, because I didn't want you both feeling the need to. And also, we probably would have. Yeah, that wouldn't have been pleasant. For you. <laughs> we make, we, I don't need to be around that. We make sure we. I mean, if I was, if I was in your position, I probably would too. Yeah, but uh, yeah, he's cool. He's cool. I still, I wish that he would not like Rocky though. Because he actually likes it. And I'm like, no, don't. Please don't. He's been, he's actually gone. And he's he's like wanting me gone. I was like, I'm not, no, I've not seen them in a long time. Oh, yeah, it's been a long time. It's been a long time. Oh. So. I was like, I don't want to. I don't want to do that. But he's on. He's uh. He told me that he saw Quante as Eddie. Still? Oh yeah. wow. I don't know if that's something I should reveal to him. <laughs> let me, let me, you know. So. I thought he had been gone, but I thought he left before I did. But, you know, he's there. Because they were always talking about, well, maybe not always, but talking about how they can get a want to get stuck. Oh, well, Corey definitely is not. That ain't, no. Mm -mm. He ain't about that shit. Uh, he's yeah. into wearing his horns. Ever since he's gotten some, ever since he poked a hole in some, in some, in some pussies. <laughs> I thought the hole was already there. Well, yeah, but you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. And since he started doing that, he 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 been on he been on his grind. Okay. Holy fuck! One of those bugs got in here. Where? On the TV. Oh yeah, that thing's big. Holy fuck! What do I do? I gotta slap it or something. Should I take? Or a spray it if you can. Should I take a bag? Bag. Yeah, take a bag, cover it, try to throw it down the toilet. Uh, I just throw it out. Ah, it jumped! Where'd it go now? I don't know! Oh god. <sighs> Oh no, Joseph, a murder is going to be recorded on the podcast. It had to happen sometime. Eventually. Just got to be careful with the TV. Yes, wait a minute. Oh, there we go, using that light. He's over here. I'm going to be on this side. Are we sure that he's underneath? Oh, I don't know, I'm just trying to get a better view. I'm trying to make sure he's not over in your stuff.
knock on the side. To my ears. All right, I think that's a good place to end it with some murder. Well, yes, it's in there. Yeah. Don't call us, Peter, because I'm not gonna pick up the phone. Ah, oh, Peter. <laughs> <laughs>